people. I hope she's cool with me sitting down with her. When she's reading a book. As I make a nice little content right here. Yo, check it. Only reason I'm coming live is to talk about this critical race BS theory. Whatever the heck they trying to teach our, our, our kids. We already was miseducated as heck. You know, that's why when I joined the Marine Corps, I kind of felt a little prejudice. And I don't know, I felt some type of way around white people, to be honest, Caucasian. I don't know if this thing will be, you know, flagged for me saying white people and shit, not being white myself. You know, I felt some type of way around white people. I felt like, I felt beneath almost. I don't know why, but I'm not, you know, because I, I don't even... I didn't identify as African-American, you know, I identified myself as Dominican. Always, my brother, thank you, Shot Glass 1914. We always good, we always vibing with the verse, you already know. My account has been restricted, so I can't really respond or like anybody's comments or even put a comment underneath my post, so I don't know why. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's because of what I wrote. And I'm going to read off kind of what I wrote. I sent it to my email and everything, right? And, and this is what I want to say as it relates to, to critical race theory. The eventual goal is to further victimize the mindset, spirit of the melanated people while simultaneously producing a guilt, self guilt and self-hatred in the, in the spirit and being of the Caucasian community, all right? The goal of those producing these demoralizing, destructive, and devices and divisive indoctrinational curriculum for the masses is to is not to inform, but rather to disinform and misinform, to produce greater demographic division between humanity at you know spiritual, physical, and mental level. You know what I'm saying? They 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 want to use the complexions of our skin to to make us feel as though one is inferior and the other one is superior and yeah i mean i kind of already knew this shit you know what i'm saying if you was if you've come up in this uh colonialized western uh social construct that we live in today at, at a global level then you would understand this all right as it relates to the asian community the largest population in the world or one of the largest population in the world um the agenda is the same, you know. The aim is to keep us further divided internationally, though the problem still remains between the haves and the haves nots. It has always been the problem in the world, you know. Uh, the problem has always been by those that always want to take from others what doesn't really belong to them, i.e. the freedom, the liberties, the money, the, the real estate, you know. Whatever it is that they feel they can have because they have power or a sense of superiority which is really a sense of inferiority because only those that are filled with fear and have and have a and feel as though they have to exercise whatever false sense of power they have onto others that's really just fear you know what i'm saying that's that's all it is there's it, is no such thing as being superior a superior and supreme being is one that you know exercise justice righteous judgment and that, you know, is protective of those that he has the power within himself to protect. That's why, you know, the great King Marcus Aurelius said, man should always have something greater than himself to strive for, because if God, if man makes himself God, then, you know, what he says goes is what to him goes. Um, our greatest enemy is not white, black, yellow, purple, brown, or red. Our greatest enemy is our own personal and collective fear, stupidity, and ignorance. That has always been the greatest enemy of man. Our own mother-loving or uh, mother-freaking ignorance. Our stupidity and our fear of what we don't underknow, what we don't know, understand. You know, and, and it continues to be so. And it's even more fragmented, and it seems more fragmented today because... There are so many things that we are being induced and indoctrinated to to hate and 
feel alienated from when we're all the freaking same human. Hue is just the color spectrum. Everything in nature, we're just man manifested, you know? You, everything, the trees, the animals, they're a different spectrum. They vibrate at a different level. All this other metaphysical mumbo jumbo that, you know, I don't fully comprehend and a lot of y'all don't even know or understand. And that's all we are. We're just made the flesh, you know? That's why I stopped eating the meat. You know? Because I understood that I was only eating my cousins. And so when it comes to this critical race mumbo jumbo bull crap, that's, it's just another, another way to make, you know, melanated people feel inferior to those that are, have this false um, power around them. And to guilt trip th those that think they have the power into feeling as though everything that's going on today is they fault when in reality it's just a collective is the, 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 the fault and the responsibility falls on the collective on each and every one of us becoming self-conscious and aware and mindful of our action and mindful of the most high and supreme source of all life which is each and every one of us that's why the great master Jesus said love thy brother as thyself and that's why many other traditions teach the same thing love thy brother as thyself do unto others as you would have that doesn't mean that you have to take anybody else's BS or not defend yourself when it is called upon you to defend yourself because it's better to to die a warrior than a coward <laughs> as I think it was Krishna told Arjuna in the book that I am now reading the Bhagavad Gita so yeah do your best nothing more nothing less man and do your utmost to do no harm other than that fucking gone. I'm see y'all later. Oh, above all, seek wisdom. Alright? Seek ye wisdom at all moment in time. Seek ye wisdom and give and express thanks to the source of all life, which is in all of us, which is an ex we are an extension of. So, you know, you continue to have a great day so that you can continue to drink from that gracious and glorious cup of life that filled with gratitude so other than that so see you later from from the both of us she's reading her book i'm just out here chilling just got done showing an open house and i'm gonna walk my ass back to jersey city so one love elif good seeing you on here other than that you have a great day